Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn step by step from scratch how to use and install plugins with Vagrant. This is going to be very easy and very interesting and we will start with what are plugins and then we will see how to install plugins with Vagrant. We will see how can we list all the installed plugins, how can we uninstall plugins, how can we repair the plugins. We will also learn where are the Vagrant plugins located on the local system or on the host system. We will see how to add the plugins information in the Vagrant file and then we will see a link where we can find all the available plugins for Vagrant. So do not worry if you are a complete beginner we are going to learn everything from scratch and we will go up step by step. So to start with what are plugins? Plugins are add-ons which can be used to add some extra functionality to a particular tool or the process that we are doing or we are using. So apart from the inbuilt functionality or inbuilt uh, features, if we want some additional features, some additional functionality, we can add plugins. So these are like add-ons to increase or enhance the functionality or add any new feature or functionality to a particular tool. Now let us see how we can use plugins with Vagrant. So we have the Vagrant plugin command and let me go to my Vagrant environment or my Vagrant folder. So I will go to my projects folder and here I have a Vagrant project where is my Vagrant file. Okay, so uh, this is a uh, where a folder where we have a Vagrant file can also be called as a Vagrant environment and therefore we can have multiple Vagrant environments on a system. So let me just open my terminal. If you are on Windows, you can go to your command line or PowerShell or git bash. And here I will first cd to the location of the folder where I have my Vagrant file. So it is on my desktop and projects. I am uh, typing uh, first few letters of the folder and pressing tab on my keyboard so that it will auto complete. Then I have this Vagrant projects folder. So I am here. Now if I say Vagrant status just to see what is the status of my virtual machines. So here my default machine which is there in my Vagrant file is as of now running which is fine. So the command I want to see is Vagrant plugin and if I want to see its usage and all the sub commands I can use with it I can use the option hyphen hyphen help. So we have seen this earlier uh, we can use the option hyphen hyphen help with any command to see the available subcommands and other details. So you can see all these subcommands we can use with Vagrant plugin command. I can say Vagrant plugin list to see all the list of plugins installed. I can install using install, uh, then I can uninstall, update, repair, expunges, uh, deleting or uninstalling all the installed plugins. So I can use all this. So let us try this. I am saying I will say here Vagrant plugin list. So let us see if anything is already installed. So nothing is, in, is installed. It says no plugins installed. Let me clear my terminal. So here we have seen this command Vagrant plugin list. Then we can install any plugin using the command Vagrant plugin install and the name of the plugin. Now before we do that, let us see where we can see all the Vagrant plugins. So if I say Vagrant plugins list. So you can see there is a GitHub page which has all the available Vagrant plugins and this is from the official website HashiCorp, the official uh, creators of Vagrant. And you can see all the available plugins. So these are some Chef plugins, Puppet, Local Domain Resolution, guest providers, then provisioners plugin, shared folders, host interaction, networking plugins, snapshot plugins, some un uncategorized plugins. So here the example I am taking is a uh, in a plugin called VB info and you can see this is the plugin I am taking in this example. You can try out any of the other plugins. So here this plugin is used for outputting the detailed virtual box information. So let us just try this. This is a simple plugin. I will say Vagrant plugin install and the plugin name that is vbinfo. So I will say here Vagrant 
plugin install vb info and this should install the plugin and this can take some time based on the size and the network speed and yes so you can see uh, this is now done this is installed I can check by running the command I am pressing up arrow on my keyboard to go to the last command vagrant plugin list and now this plugin is available so we can use vagrant plugin install to install a plugin then I can also use this plugin by saying vagrant and the plugin name so if I say vagrant and the plugin name VB info so this should give me details of the virtual box so you can see it is giving me some details here so we can use this plugin like this and if you're using any other plugin you can go and go to that plugin link and see all the options how you can use the plugin so you can see this is how we can use the plugin vagrant VB info you can check the examples and how you can use it in the vagrant file everything will be there so if you are using any other plugin you can check the details there now if you have to update a plugin we can say vagrant plugin update now here we can just say vagrant plugin update and it will update all the plugins which requires update or we can give a particular plugin name as well so I can say vagrant plugin update and this will check all the plugins and update all the installed plugins if they need any update or if the update is available and again this process can take time based on the updates the size the number of updates network connection etc here it is saying everything up to date if I update a particular plugin called VB info then again it will update that particular plugin and here this is all up to date then we can repair a plugin by saying vagrant plugin repair so if I say vagrant plugin repair it will check all the plugins and if there is any uh, repair possible it will repair the plugins then sometimes if you require a license for a plugin you can use the command vagrant plugin license and give the location of your license file so let us just see if I say vagrant plugin license and I see for the help for this particular option for this particular command you can see here we can give the license file and all these options we can use so in this case we do not need any license but whenever required you can use this command and in case it is required you will see the details for that plugin uh, license information on that plugin page then uh, we can uninstall the plugin by saying uninstall and giving a particular plugin name or we can say vagrant plugin expunge and it will delete all the plugins so if you want to uninstall you can use any of these commands and if you want to reinstall all the expunged plugins then we can use vagrant plugin expunge and use the option hyphen hyphen reinstall so we can do that and we have already seen this page this page where we have all the plugins available and if you want to use a plugin in the vagrant file uh, let me show you some plugin which can be used in a vagrant file like this one vagrant disk size it is to resize disk for the virtual box machine and if I see the details here so here you can see this vagrant disk, disk size plugin and this is how you can use it in your vagrant file so here you can set the size of the disk for the virtual machine by using this statement in your vagrant file after installing this plugin so uh, the plugins which can be used within the vagrant file you can see the example and this is how we can use it all right and if you have to see the location of the plugins on the host system then on windows you can find it in your vagrant.d directory which by default goes in your c users and your username folder and vagrant d if you're on mac or most of the linux systems it will be in your home directory uh, vagrant.d folder so let me show you if i go to my mac system i am pressing command shift and g key on my keyboard to bring this go to folder so if i go to this vagrant d here I can find the 
plugins information and similarly if I am on Linux it can be Vagrant D plugins or opt Vagrant plugins or user share Vagrant plugins based on the distribution of the Linux. This is just for information you might not need to go and check but just for information. So this is how we can use plugins with Vagrant. I hope this was very useful for you. If you have any questions you can let me know in the comment section below and I will see you soon. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.